Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a app review, or back with an app review for Android and iOS users. Uh, for those of you who like to f watch a lot of TV shows and need an easier way of keeping track of when they're um, going to resume, when they're going off the air, um, if you want a way of um, getting a news feed based solely on the shows that you watch. So uh, what you'll do is you can either register via a website or installing their app. Um, using a service called Follow Shows. Um, so what the app and service allows you to do is um, so basically subscribe to shows that you watch and get a regular stream of news as you see here. So I've already subscribed to some shows that I watch and then um, you can keep track of additional ones as you, that you want. So for example, um, if you go to your shows, I've already um, added a few. So Black Sails, Fear the Walking Dead, Star Wars Rebels, Vikings and a few others here and there. So these are what I, um, I'm watching. Um, and it'll tell you that these are what these are what you've already subscribed to. If you click on returning, you'll see when the shows are gonna be returning. So for example, The Walking Dead returns on February 12th. So um, you can see what goes on here. Rick is introducing a new community. You can click on all episodes. So you can see what uh, when the episodes are coming back and what the episodes will be titled. So for example, the episode on February 12th will be called Rock in the Road. Um, we don't know what the next one is yet, or at least it's not on follow shows. Um, you can go back and you can get into what, um, um, for example, what other shows. So, for example, um, Gotham is returning on April 24th with How the Riddler Got His Name. So, uh, pretty straightforward there. These are shows that I've already added, but let's say you want to add more shows. So... You'll click on the plus sign. You can see various shows that are already um, recommended that are already here. So if you want to see what's um, here or you can do go to new TV shows, see what's uh, up and coming in case something looks um, something that you like. So let's say um, this show is interesting to you. You can read a little bit more about it. You can see some of the episode names, get um, episode descriptions and things like that. Um, you also get recommended shows. So, for example, I don't know why I didn't think of this, but Game of Thrones um, is also is there. So I'll hit follow. So that's now added to my list of follow shows. And you can get episode titles based on season and episode number. So um, you get um, this and then you get various places that um, you can purchase the episodes themselves from. So in case you want to see it, you have your um, place of choice. Um, I don't know if they separate based on platform. So, for example, I'm on Android, so it's giving me Android um, options. Um, and if you're on iOS, I don't know if they'll also if they also include iTunes, for example. But I do like here that they give you the option of HBO via Amazon Prime or, or HBO Now itself as a standalone app. So that's a pretty good feature, if you ask me. Um, um, the other way you can um, also do add shows is you can hit the search button. And for example, let's say you're a fan of the Big Bang Theory, you can start doing a search for that and it'll pop up. So the Big Bang Theory comes up and um, now I'm following that show and I can see that the next episode is on the second, the Emotional Detection Automation. And we get a description of the episode there. Um, and then the beauty of this here is now if you go to your overflow menu, you have the, or there is a calendar option so you can see what's coming up on the uh, TV today. So, for example, today Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because I'm following the show is coming up so I can see get the episode name, season, episode number and a description of the episode as well. And then I have um, upcoming shows as well. So, for example, Vikings comes up is going to be airing tomorrow as of this recording um season four episode 20 the reckoning um and you can easily just scroll and see what's coming up next so um the big bang theory on february 2nd um black sales is on february site or february 5th and I can keep scrolling and seeing what episodes are there. And for example, on February 12th, I have Black Sails and The Walking Dead. So we have um, a good schedule set up there. Uh, you can also go into settings and um, set up mobile notifications and email notifications. Uh, for some reason, I am only getting email notifications and no mobile notifications. So 
Um, there might be some sort of issue or something on the website that I need to check out, but um, I will say that the option is there. I'm not sure if it's a device specific thing or just an account specific setting that um, I have going on. And then there is a premium, and this is all part of the free version. In the premium version, you can set what your de default screen is. So I'm guessing that um, you can change, I guess, what's your shows, calendar. There's also a tracker setting um, that uh, lets you track exactly which episodes you watched and not watched and all that. Um, and then what showed up uh, last week or uh, recently that's already aired. So you can see what aired, for example, yesterday, earlier this week, last week and all that and what's coming up next. So just a different way of looking at the same information in a more grid and episode way rather than a week day-to-day -day calendar view. Um, so that's the bulk of the um, app that um, we have and it does cost 99 cents to become a, um, a premium user as, and as you can see it lets you track shows easily and if you want to mark shows as mark, uh, watch or not watch, um, remove as, change your default home screen, things like that, then you can do that for 99 cents. Um, but it's a pretty good um, app. You can also add friends if you want. So you do get a um, email st or a activity stream, kind of like Goodreads does for books, where it'll show you what um, you've been up to lately. So if you add your friends, you can have that social interface as well. And then, um, but I will say that I do like um, the um, news feature, so you can see news related specifically to shows that you're uh, watching so it's kind of like a very specialized form of facebook where only you only get the content that you really want to see so um for example this is a game of thrones article that i haven't had a chance to uh read about but there's a game of thrones playing a um walking dead um thing so maybe something to look at later as well but that is actually all there is for that. So you can check out the service on this website, followshows.com, F-O-L-L-O-W, shows.com, or install the app via Google Play or that um, or Android and the iOS app store for iOS. Um, and then as I mentioned, the, app, the service and the app itself are free, but if you want some more features like marking shows that you watch and removing ads, things like that, you can um, buy the premium version for 99 cents. So that is all for this particular review. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, or want to provide your own feedback, you can uh, email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Uh, you can find this review and all reviews on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, you can find all links and all of that good stuff on the website at PatelN01.com. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.